Hi guys! Anyone selling products or services in an e-commerce knows how important it is to create effective pricing strategies and offer ad hoc promotions and discounts to retain customers and to encourage them to purchase products. A shop that doesn't adhere to Black Friday, that doesn't offer free shipping in orders that have exceeded a specific threshold, or that doesn't reward customers for purchasing large quantities of products with a preferential price, is a shop destined to fail. With our Yeetbook Commerce Dynamic Pricing and Discounts plugin, you can create and manage the most popular discounts. 3 for 2, 2 for 1, buy 1 get 1 for free, buy this product and get this one with a discount. You can also schedule discounts, so you could for instance offer a 10% discount on the entire shop only for Black Friday or end of season sales. You can also apply a discount to the cart based on the order total or on the amount of orders that the customer previously placed. In this video, I'm going to show you how the plugin works and how to create powerful discounts in just a few clicks. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be working with this site. We have a clothing shop right here, my Sarah collection shop. So as I mentioned before, this plugin allows you to create advanced promotion and discount rules, like maybe a three for two, two for one, buy one, get one for free. You can also create discounts based on the quantity of products inside the card or on the card subtotal. It is very easy, you can do it in just a few steps. Let's start by going over to the dashboard and I'm going to activate the plugin first, okay? So, plugins. I'm going to look for the plugin here. There, and I'm going to activate it here. Great, so it's active now. We're going to head over to Yid, Dynamic Pricing. Here are the general settings. And here, under Discounts and Price Rules, we're going to create and see all of the rules for our shop, okay? So, let's create the first rule. Create Rule. We can add a name to the rule that is just for us to identify the rule, okay? So, maybe I want to name it BOGO because the first rule we're going to create is the Buy One, Get One for Free rule applied to a specific product, the t-shirt that I showed you here in our site. So, back, active rule. For rule type, I'm going to choose special offer. Create a special offer rule for the purchase of a specific product because that's what I want to create. I just want to assign this rule to the t-shirt I have just shown you. But as you can see here, you can apply the rule to all products, to specific products, to specific product categories, or to specific product tags. So we will create this BOGO rule for the t-shirt. We have to set up the offer rules. We want to create a BOGO rule, so we'll set this up this way. If the customer purchases two items, that is two shirts added to the cart, then he will get one item with a percentage discount. Here you can choose percentage discount, price discount, or fixed price. So a percentage discount of 100%. So if the customer adds two t-shirts to the cart, one of them will have a 100% discount, which means it will be for free. That is exactly how a BOGO promotion works. We can choose here to repeat the rule by enabling this option. If we decided to repeat the rule and the customer added four shirts to the cart, then he would get two shirts for free because the BOGO rule would be applied twice. But we're going to leave this disabled so that only the second shirt that is added to the cart gets the discount. So if the customer gets another 10 t-shirts in the same order, he's not going to get more than one shirt for free. Let's scroll down. Then we have Apply Special Offer 2. We will just leave it here to all users as it is because we want this discount to be available for all users in our shop and not only for specific users or to specific user roles. 
although it is interesting to see that we have the freedom to choose this, right? We can choose to schedule the rule, so we can start the rule now and then it manually, or we can set a start and end time, okay? If we select this option, we have a calendar here with a date and a time picker where we will be able to select when the offer begins and when it finishes. We'll select the first option for this rule, enable the rule now and end it manually. If we scroll down, we have this text editor. Here we can add a custom message to show in the product page that has that special offer. So we can type something like there. Enjoy the BOGO promotion on this t-shirt, buy one and get one for free. We can have this in bold. And I'm going to do a bright orange color there. Let's say the rule. Let's go to the site to see that shirt again. I'm going to refresh. Great, so there I have my text. Enjoy the Vogue promotion on this t-shirt. Buy one and get one for free. And let's add two shirts to the card. View card. Great, so we have two t-shirts. Each t-shirt is worth $38. But the second one had a 100% discount, so I will only be charged $38 for this t-shirt that has the BOGO promotion applied. So the second t-shirt would be for free. Now let's go back to the dashboard and create another discount rule, okay? Back to the discount list. And we're going to add rule here. We're going to create a rule that applies a 10% discount on the entire shop for the next Black Friday, okay? So we're going to add a rule that is going to be called Black Friday so we can identify it. We're going to select the option to have a rule type discount on entire shop. The discount to apply to the entire shop is going to be a percentage discount of 10%. You also have options here to exclude products from the rule. Here we have enabled the option to show the discount in loop. So that's what we're going to see next. Apply discount to specific users, to all users, to specific user roles, and many other options. So let's save that rule so we can see that on the shop. Let's head over to the site. There, so you can see that the discount was applied to all of the products in my shop. Now we're going to go back to the dashboard to create a card discount rule. We're going to select card rules, create rule. We will name this one 25% off. Under schedule offer, we will leave it as it is. Enable the rule now and end it manually. Now, if we scroll down here, you'll find this button add a condition. We have to create conditions that have to be met to the, so that the discount is applied to the card. So we're going to add a condition here. I'm going to name this condition card total. Again, this name is just for us. We're going to create a condition based on. We have a lot of options. We have users, number of orders, total amount spent. This is the amount that the customer has already spent on our shop in the past. We can set a product condition, so we would apply the discount only if there is a specific product in the card, card items, and card subtotal. We're going to choose this option, card subtotal. We will set a minimum of $200. Save condition. So, when conditions are met, apply a percentage discount of 25%. This means that if the customer's card subtotal is at least $200, then the conditions are met and the customer will get a 25% discount on the card subtotal, okay? If the customer spends just $100, there won't be any discount applied to the card. We're going to save this rule and we're going to go back to the site. In my site, I have also this product, a great cashmere sweater. I'm going to add this to the card view card so here 
the price is $100. I'm not getting the 25% discount because, as I said before, I need to spend at least $200 on my card to get the 25% discount. If I added a couple more sweaters here, update card, there. So my subtotal is $500 and I now have the discount applied, which is 25% which comes to a total of $125 discount. So these are only a few examples of what you can do with this powerful tool. Try it yourself, create custom offers and discount rules to push your customers to buy and increase your sales. The e commerce dynamic pricing and discounts can be the strongest point of your e-commerce. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.